The investigative reporter Eric Rasmussen first showed us how one transit system in a major Midwest city is adding gates and turnstiles. And he's live in St. Paul tonight with a new call to do the same thing in the Twin Cities. Eric? That call coming not only from writers, but now also the largest newspaper in Minnesota. But Metro Transit says gating off street level stations like the one behind me would be difficult. A northbound blue line train. Wide open light rail stations. We're studying what's the total remodel look like. Soft targets for crime in Minneapolis and beyond. What is the perception right now? That it's dangerous. In April, five investigates traveled to St. Louis, where they're closing off every light rail station with gates and turnstiles. That same security overhaul, the centerpiece of a four-page editorial in the Star Tribune this month. I think what impressed me the most was their singular and unwavering commitment to uh, passenger safety. Off her own trip to St. Louis, Patricia Lopez and the editorial board included eight recommendations, including one to enclose every station on light rail in the Twin Cities. Is this an all or nothing question? about gates, turnstiles, barricades? I don't, I don't think so. We haven't uh, certainly said that internally. This week, five investigates toured the system with Metro Transit's chief operating officer and general manager, including stations where they've added private security and are studying the viability of closing off four locations. We do get the question frequently about uh, why we have an open system, so it feels like now is the time to take a look at that. The Star Tribune, quoting Med Council Chair Charlie Zelli, now saying he'd be shocked if the Lake Street station was not fully enclosed as part of an upcoming rebuild. If I'm standing here in a year talking to you, do you think we will have any stations that are enclosed on this system? I think a year from now we're going to have a lot more information about what our options are. While you may not see those gates and turnstiles out here anytime soon, Metro Transit is reminding riders that community service officers in December will start writing those new administrative citations to those who haven't paid their fare. Live in St. Paul, Eric Rasmussen, 5 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Eric.